What up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Barla Brigade Talk Show. I'm with Silent Mike. Damn, look at those arms. Not Actually, bad. They're pretty nice. Nadim, and today we got a very controversial topic. Did that you say we berry? Talk about. Like a smoothie? Yeah, very, very, <laughs> very controversial. Should we only have deadlift bars? Who's we? I mean, uh, stiff bars. Take all the deadlift bars out and convert everything into a stiff bar. Was that Body, bodybuilders? Crossfitters. I think Crossfit. that was a Freudian slip because Bart only wants to lift on deadlift bars. Very true. Yeah, that was a Freudian slip for sure. But? But you're a pussy and we should only use stiff bars, not Texas, because you're a pussy if you use a Texas bar. Have you ever uh, <laughs> squatted with a deadlift bar? What? No. I've always wanted to. Have you ever squatted with a weightlifting bar? Yeah. Have you ever seen a very famous influencer dead, uh, bench with a deadlift bar because there's more whip and he wore a slingshot underneath the hoodie? Have you ever deadlifted with a squat bar? Was that you? No. Who was that? I'm not yeah. gonna tell you. <laughs> have you ever, you? Have, no. Have you ever deadlifted with a squat bar? Uh, yeah. I used to be so against it because just working at Barbell, I'm like, keep our equipment nice. Don't do that. Like you're not supposed to, yeah, but I'm like, around. But I'm like, is that really damaging? And I'll just tell people, hey, just don't use a deadlift jack. Should we, should we fill them in on these bars? Yeah. So typically it depends on the federation you go to, but there's a squat bar, which is kind of made for the big boys. And the federations tend to go 198 weight pound class and up. And that's a 50 pound, five pound bar. Often, sometimes there's a 65 that they would use with multiply. The Mastodon? Bro. <laughs> and is that, that what thing, it's I think it's called the Mastodon. That thing feels like you got butter knives stabbing you in the neck. It's a little bit thicker, which we all enjoy. A Let's be honest. Let's be honest, yeah. and we like that. I don't really like it. <laughs> oh, you like them skinny. And then, uh, and, oh, it, no. and it almost has like no whip to it. Like it's almost impossible. Yeah. I, I've literally seen people squat a thousand pounds. And it I think bend. it has more whip. No, not a mastodon. Not maybe not a mastodon. No, not even close. Uh, then we have a power bar, right? Which is kind of a stiff bar. Rogue, Texas, Aleco, kind of your standard barbell. Um, very little whip to it. A uh, lot of knurling, center knurling, et cetera, et cetera. Then we have a deadlift bar. That's gonna be a little bit longer, a little bit skinnier, no knurling in the middle, uh, grip's about the same, and that'll tend to whip a little bit. So when you're pulling, what, 500, 600, or more, um, you'll gradually lift those plates off of the ground, right? We call it pulling the slack or something like that, and it kind of makes it feel easier. And there's it, almost two generations of it. There's the original Texas deadlift sure. bar, which is pretty noodly. Yep. The new one, the kabuki one, yeah. is longer, so it's even more noodly. Which is wild because because powerlifting is so fragmented in different federations, each federation can make their rules. And so you can just change the rule book and say, now we allow an eight foot bar, which they kind of did. That's the part that I kind of hate. Yeah. Because even in the same federation, if they did like let's say 90s to 2010 yeah. on the Texas deadlift bar. Right. Now in like let's say 2011, they signed a new contract. They have this new bar, and these guys are shattering these records. Yeah. Are they really shattering the records, or do they just have easier equipment? Where you think it should go the opposite. So we look at the NBA now, and everyone's so athletic and so crazy. It's like taking them and making like, oh, let's do a nine and a half foot hoop. Where actually they should do an eleven foot hoop because these yeah. athletes are freakier. Especially in the WNBA, they should raise it. No, for Even sure higher. it'd be a twelve. They're not gonna make any points. No, because I. Whoa. <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa! Oh, Silent Mike said that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but like, like in football, you, you can't like, one for safety, there's a lot of regulations that you can't do, you can't hit. We stick, should just take do. pads off and turn it into gladiators. That would be safer. Probably. Yeah. It is, like rugby. Uh, it's like why MMA is safer than boxing. Yeah, and because rugby. Because you get knocked out quicker. And rugby is safer than football. Yeah. Because you don't want to, you're not, you're a literal moron if you're flying at someone head down with no ailment. So even though I fucking love the deadlift bar and I only deadlift, even though I you'll only use the deadlift bar, even though it's associated with the untested federations. Yep. And I've been natty my whole life. I Lies. just like that bar. Um, I personally think for powerlifting to move forward, I do think across the board we should standardize yeah. and just go with the stiff bar, make things as hard as possible. I actually think we shouldn't have belts. I also, I also think we shouldn't have sleeves and it should just be like true raw strength because if we're trying to like convert the masses. You're a caveman. No, if you try to, I'm primal. If you try to convert <laughs> the masses, right? You're on steroids? No, not that kind of primal, real primal. Yeah. But then if, you, if, if you're trying to convert the masses, you don't want people to go, wait, what's that, what's that, what's that? And then they have to like put all these things together. You just want to see raw strength on the simplest equipment, and that's what I would go with. I'm yeah, because I'm like, I'm against, I feel like you can still squat crazy heavy without a belt. And I'm sure it's, there's a lot of safety things, but there's things like, if we took away knee sleeves, because knee sleeves now 
fucking help like 50 or more pounds. A lot, dude. And people act like it's just, I've, I hear always people saying like, it's just for, for like warmth and safety. And they're, they're dying for an hour trying to get the yeah. knee on. This it's like so stupid. squat without What? No, you can't. I, can. I know. I said then squat without them. I can't. <laughs> yeah. no. I can't I, even squat 225. <laughs> I'm more so for them changing everything to a power bar. Yeah. Just to stop the bitching and complaining from everyone about like those things where it's like trying to compare everyone. And then you can or with this person. And then, oh, you deadlift on that. So that doesn't count. And it's like, I, I'd rather get taken away so we could just focus on the number and not worry about people comparing each other so much. So yeah. typically sometimes, here's some uh, behind the scenes, behind the curtain, Wizard of Oz shit for you. Sometimes we'll play devil's advocate out here just to keep this conversation going. I'm not going to do that. And this is my honest truth, is that I actually like specialized equipment sometimes. And I see it more like the advancement of the sport. And I compare it to something like golf or uh, like car racing. So you want carbon fiber bars? Uh, so, we, what, you want to watch Tiger Woods play with a wooden fucking shaft and hit yep. it 100 yards? That's yep. fucking boring. So, my point is that the athletes are going to be strong regardless. So, if we take away knee sleeves and go to stiff bar, the best guys are probably still going to be the best yeah, guys. Yeah, Jamal will pull a million right. on anything. So, uh, Jamal's still going to pull 950 plus. So let's let him use the advancements of technology to get better or track and field, um, right? You have the spikes, you have the certain clay to make people run fast um, because they already are gonna be the best at they are and now we're just elevating the game. So I do agree on both the points of the sport being too fragmented and the arguments being stupid. I would like to get rid of that, but I don't think we'll ever get rid of it anyways and not to like throw shots at all these federations and shitty people out there, but they already argue about the type of stiff bar we're using, Yeah. right? right. No, you used a Rogue. Oh, you pulled on a Texas. Might as well use a deadlift bar and steroids. Like that gets so much whippier and so much this calibrated plates versus this. There's always going to be a dumb argument of some niche person thinking they're stronger, or make an excuse or starting drama. So I kind of enjoy the advancements in technology to allow these athletes to put on a performance in a sense, right? Because every sport- So if you believe in standardization yeah. and the advancement, would you just say, even the USAPL should use the deadlift bar? Like everyone uses the deadlift bar. So that's where I look more into, obviously the steroid, non-steroid thing or drug tested versus non-drug tested plays a role in that. But I also then look at the car situation, right? Where we have like Formula One, which is a certain type of engine, a certain type of body. NASCAR is a certain type of engine, a certain type of racetrack. Dragster is a certain type of body, a certain type of racetrack. And so that's how I start to think about powerlifting in a sense. Where, yeah, multiply powerlifting got a little too obnoxious and then now we're really cutting corners. But I think there's a time and place for all that equipment. I feel like he I would like me. to, you don't agree? I was just thinking about how fat the multiply <laughs> lifters are. Yeah. And then I was like, that's interesting that that's a sport. Go ahead. <laughs> it's a sport. <laughs> I also like the argument of standardizing it because it at least brings it closer to the commercial gym type. Yeah. Where mm. we, everyone there kind of trains on a shitty, but a shitty stiff bar. Yeah. Right? It might not be the best knurling or whatever, yeah, but it brings it. Stiff bar. But it's like, shitty. when you go from a commercial gym to a powerlifting deadlift uh, or a powerlifting gym with a deadlift bar, it's a pretty big difference. But if you go from training always on a commercial gym stiff bar to a power bar, it's a slight difference. Yeah. You know, so yeah. you're still able to train at a commercial gym. Cause like if we go to a commercial gym used to a deadlift bar, we're not gonna have a good deadlift session. At all. Yeah. But uh, uh, so Cause the lines aren't even in the right place. You the lines even, aren't in the right place. You don't even place. know where to put the yeah. fucking hands. The bar feels a little Why, weird. What are those lines? They're just arbitrary. Yeah. Cause like in our sport, there's a power bar line, which is standard for all federations. And then there's a weightlifting all line. Brand, all brands too. Right. All brands right. have the line in the exact same place. And then there's a weightlifting bar. And even like the bar behind you is a combo bar. So it has both. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we have some of those too. Uh, but the uh, commercial gym bars even more thin for no reason. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that line on a commercial bar? Who made it up? This is a wide grip bench press. It made well, and like because why? Where the lines are. It's not like cheaper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not cheaper to make that. Like, I understand why the bars are the way, right? Because they're probably cheaper and whatever. But like, we can all standardize the lines. Yeah, it's stupid. I, same thing though to your note going commercial gym to, to deadlift bar. I see it as like. If you want to be the pickup basketball guy and get used to outdoor nets and outdoor courts, eventually you're going to want to play on hardwood in like a real court and a real thing. And so now that powerlifting is more accessible by the type of gyms like Barbell Brigade, Third Street Barbell, things of that nature, I think that if you are deep enough into the sport, you'll find the best equipment. And so I, I think it's accessible enough. 
If we're talking to have this conversation 12 years ago, I'd probably agree with you guys more because it would be so hard to find a deadlift bar. I think every meet should be commercial gym bars, and if you can't pull good on it, you're a pussy. Hex plates only. Oh, hex, hex plates plates. only. No, kilo plates. No, hex I, plates I only. Plate, but like, if we're talking about strength and you can't pull on a bar because, and like, oh, I can't deadlift now because the knurling isn't that good, you're a bitch. So uh, I know you're semi-joking, but I do think there's a time and place for I that. I never joke. And the sport is called strongman, right? Lifting mm -hmm. weird shaped shit, not per, you're literally sometimes lifting a stone from nature. Yeah. I kind of like that too, right? That, so that's my idea of like strength sports being yeah. more like uh, car strongman, racing. Strongman is strength, powerlifting is specificity. For sure. And no, strength. Even the barbell itself is a man manufactured piece of equipment made to lift efficiently. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's why even the bar thickness or right. whatever. Yeah, for our little fat hands. But you know, if we do do the whole commercial gym do route, do do <laughs> <laughs> the the that would eliminate I would say maybe twenty five to thirty percent of sumo pullers, because a lot of sumo pullers can only pull on a specific length, or else the weights chop. For sure, off. some of the deadlift bar guys they would have to move their stance. Yeah, but his like commercial gym bar, even Kabuki, Kabuki's yeah. longer. His commercial gym bar um, shorter. It's uh, shorter, yeah. Shorter than a stiff bar? I don't I know. Think so. I it think might so. be. It might be. I've never measured. So I don't, don't like sumo measure. pullers. <laughs> Even though those guys are just as strong. Let's as get rid of the bench press then and just do overhead then if you guys are talking about I'm pussy down with shit. That. Okay, let's not do pull ups and just do kipping ones, you this pussies. This is game and all be friends. I would love that. Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. See you guys later. <laughs> I'm gonna ruin it. <laughs> Bye.